go do some geocaching. Woo woo! I'm so excited. Um, there's a couple of them we're going to go and do. So, if you don't know what geocaching is, it's pretty much a treasure hunt. You go out, you find these different caches, you'll see. And uh, you sign your name, which I have to get my backpack together because I have a couple of little goodies that we can leave behind. And I need a pen. So, yeah, there's that. And i got to take my water bottle because, well, maybe I'll just take my coffee bottle. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the first one. Product placement. Gosh. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what geocaching is, it is a treasure hunt. I know I just said this, but um, you go out. Well, actually, first you have to get the app, which is the geocaching app. Oh, let me fix the lighting now that I know how to. Um, the geocaching app on your phone and it brings up your area where you are and where all the caches are. Um, and it's absolutely free. Unless of course you wanna get the premium which I think was what thirty dollars for the year. I don't know. Something, something like thirty dollars for a whole year, and that brought up a whole slew of other caches. So there are so many different caches. There's um, Earth caches, which talk about the Earth. There's virtual caches, which you just take a picture, go online, that's the cache. And then there are different sizes of caches. I have a couple of them out and they're both, I think, well, one is medium, one is a small. And then they have the little micro minis that you can find. Um, it's just, it's, it's crazy, it's free. It's great for summer. My arm's getting tired, hold on. Um, kids love it. You can, if you get the right size, find the right size cash, you can put stuff in, take stuff out. Now, if you take something out, you have to put something in. That's the rule. And we, we love doing it. I love doing it. Caitlin loves doing it. We love doing it. What about me? You love doing it too, huh? It's an interesting puzzle. That's an interesting puzzle. When we can. All right, y'all. We have a change in plans. We have a change in plans from our change in plans. <laughs> so, originally, I was on here and the phone or the camera battery died. So, I ended up, we ended up having to go back to the house, charge up the battery, Jeremy mowed the yard. Caitlin did some weeding. I did some stuff on uh, online. Then we went to the store, grabbed some stuff because we were going to get dinner stuff, come back to the house. We were supposed to get the camera and then go out geocache. That whole thing changed again. Um, so now, here's the, here's, here's the final plan. One must be fluid in their planning. Shit happens, y'all. This is how we roll. Um, we're gonna go get one of the geocaches because I really want to do one. This is my first multi-cache, and so I'm really excited. So we're gonna go at least go do that one. And then we're gonna go get lunch real quick, and then we're gonna head out to Yakima to go get another small AC unit for the other side of the house so that when it really heats up this summer, Katie and I are not melting while Jeremy is in his office at work in a nice AC building. Okay, so at least my husband is thinking about his family, well, which we charge. greatly appreciate. Well, at least now we have somewhat of a plan. So, 
Well, we always had a plan. Yeah. It's just we had a couple of them. Besides, no plan in this household ever survives first contact. Oh. Clue, squirrel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why we don't have a Ravenclaw in the house. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, shit happens, y'all. We always change it. Anyway, so we're headed to this geocache that's just up here a little bit. Um, so as soon as we get there, like I said, it's a multi-cache, meaning we will get there, we'll find the cache, and it actually has a, a clue to a secondary cache. It's a multi-cache. And so you, then you have to go and try and find that one. And hopefully that, I think there's only two. And then that one should have the actual cash, and uh, we can see what kind of goodies people have put in there and maybe do a little swapping. So that's what we're gonna go do. So it says, my boss who's a 20 odd year retired Marine officer always says, Semper Gumby, always flexible. Yeah, so maybe we'll get one or two in uh, Yakima, we'll see. So, but that's the one we're gonna go do right now. So. Hang tight. Okay. So it's down this way. Okay. Alright. We're Not almost as close to the gate as I thought. Okay. We're almost at it. Oops, hold on guys. I'm trying to get my pen out. Everything hurts. Gosh darn it. Um, okay, we're gonna go find this cache. I gotta get my pen. Whenever you go geocache and make sure you have a pen. I've got a sparkly one. Yeah, you're from up here. Is it? Yeah. We'll have to take some pictures, maybe. I know I put a pen in here. What the heck did I do with it? Do you need one? No. Oh, oh I got it. I got a pen. Just took me a second to find it. All right. Let's go. Look at that view. This is why, another reason why, I love to geocache. It takes you to places that you would never even think to go to. Actually, I actually came up here one time and there's a castle right down there. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in. Look at that castle. Is that not gorgeous? Okay, Jeremy's on the move. Okay, Caitlin just found the cash. Yay! Because I got skills. Yeah, good job. So now we're inputting the coordinates. We're, Jeremy is inputting the coordinates um, into the phone. And uh, we're going to get the other cash because I think this is a two parter. So, hopefully. We'll find the other one and I'll have some goodies. So we'll be right back. Okay, yes, please. Um, so we found the first one. So it seems that the second one is all the way over there. On the other side of town. On the other side of town, in front of a little cafe. Well, it's on the way out of town. So. They never see Yeah, anything. so we're going to go get lunch first and we'll head over to the other coordinates and hopefully find the cash and then head out and go get the AC. So, there you go. But, Caitlin found the first one. Yes, I did. Woo woo! Nice job, Caitlin. Sound the horns loudly, the hunt is on. Yep, Jeremy said he got in the car, he said the hunt is on. There you go. Hold on, working on the, nope, that make it worse, okay. All right, so Caitlin found it, Caitlin found it, woo woo! So, let's see, can I see you guys down here for a second? Can you see me so? Nope. Alright, so. There she is. She's signing in. And then, what goodies do we have in here? Nothing. This is a pencil. Huh? Nothing. This is a pencil. Oh, it's empty? Well, we have something for it. Here you go. I'm going to put in. Gotta find it first. A trackable? Yep. I am going to release my trackable. I'm also going to put in one of my little geocaching rocks that I made. Let's 
see. I gotta get this daggum bag open. Okay, it's logged. Cool. what that was, but ugh. Probably just a fluff. Well, I can't get this stupid bag open. I'll just call this video 50 minutes of you not being able to open a bag. <laughs> You're so funny. I gotta get my truck hole out. Oh, look, we can put her in there. That's too big. No, it's not. Um, we yeah, still gotta put this in there. in there. Oh, you guys. You guys. Okay, so here is the trackable that I'm going to put in. You gotta log it. I will log it as soon as we get in the car. It's, it's not gonna fit. It's fine. Why are you doing that? Because it's, it's not gonna fit. Okay, I'm gonna sign the log book. Okay. And show them. that back in, put this under here, look at that, tell me it's not going to fit, girl bye, I'm going to take the camera so I can put it back, yeah just a sec, okay, there we go, she's done, woohoo, okay, I'm not gonna show you where we got it though, cause you gotta go, you gotta, you gotta go find it yourself. <laughs> that is the joys of geocaching. Okay, we're gonna get back in the car, and then we are going to head out and get some lunch. Okay, we're in Yakima, and we're gonna try and find another geocache. We just got ourselves a AC unit. For the back side of the house. Thank goodness, because I tell you what. So, we're going to find this geocache. Apparently, it's a large one. So, let's go see. Okay, and Jeremy found this one. Woohoo! Nice job, babe. Yep. So, we are in Yakima. I don't want to show you where we found it, but it has been found. It was not an easy one either, but we'll see you back at the car. Okay, another part of geocaching that's actually pretty cool is called cash in, trash out. So we go look for the caches, we find them, we have fun, but whenever we see garbage, trash laying around, pick it up. Either take it home with you and throw it away, find a nearby garbage can, throw it away, but it's called cash in, trash out. And even if you're not geocaching, you should probably pick it up because it's just well, like yeah, a normal just, good human thing to do. Yeah, but this is also a part of geocaching. So we're going to take this, we're going to put it in our garbage can that's in the car and we empty it out when we get home. So there you go. Jeremy rolled his freaking ankle, so hopefully he'll be okay. He'll be fine. Hopefully. Close. He doesn't look so <laughs> Okay, we'll see you in a little bit, guys. We are on our way home. And this view is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. We're in the canyon. We decided not to go over the uh, the pass. Isn't that pretty? Jet ski on the river. Jet ski on the river. Oh, I want to go kayaking so bad when I look down there. So pretty.
Hey guys, okay, we're back home. Woohoo! Um, Jeremy is in bed resting his ankle because he rolled his ankle while we were out geocaching. Yeah. He said that he's going to go to work tomorrow just so he can get a break. <laughs> Ooh. So, that's going to end today's vlog. Please and thank you, hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. We found two, two caches. Yeah. One here in Ellensburg and then one in Yakima. Very cool. We have a new air conditioner for the other end of the house. We got some stuff done today, y'all. We did. Jeremy got the front yard and the side yards mowed. Thankfully, before he hurt his ankle. So. And then, last night we were supposed to do spaghetti dinner, but we didn't. So I think we're going to try and do it tonight, maybe-ish. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But, for right now, this video, this purpose, we're done. Caitlin and I will do the video tomorrow playing with our palettes. Um, that's going to be a fun one. Sorry, my arms get I'm so tired, y'all. So, again, the 200 uh, subscriber giveaway. Please, please, please don't forget. You have to go in the description below. There is a link to enter the giveaway you have to fill out the entry form if you don't do that you're not entered into the giveaway also you can only enter one time just one okay um, we've had a couple of people uh, enter twice and then Caitlin had to go in and fix it so one entry per person um, I think that's it. We're, we're, we're done for the day. I'm going to lay down for a little bit because I'm exhausted. Oh, and I never did find the monk fruit. No. So we're going to order the monk fruit sugar substitute online. Woo -woo. Because I can't find it in any store. Not around here anyway. Or Yakima for that matter. So, all right, y'all. Until next time, see y'all later. Bye.